Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I am coming back at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In today's video, we're going to continue on with our store news update. This is an eBay store news update. As you know, I have an eBay store called Wargaming and Miniature, and what I try to do weekly is touch on five subjects. Uh, what I'm working on, what I finished, what kind of supplies I've got in, what products I've got in, and any news that is uh, in the industry. All right, so that, that impacts my store uh, or my personal hobbies. Okay, so the first thing is, what have I finished? Well, nothing's really finished. Everything is still in progress. Uh, the What have I finished? I have not really finished anything. Everything is still in progress. Okay, so nothing's finished. All right, so what am I working on? Well, as you can see on the table right now, I have a number of projects going on. I have a commission, which is uh, these World War II uh, vehicles and infantry. This all came out of a box set called Clash of Steel, which is a Flames of War starter set. Uh, these guys are uh, in progress. I would say I would have them finished by this weekend, I do believe. Uh, these guys are the Russians, and these guys are the Germans. Okay, I also have three um, campsites that I'm working on for Meg. These are all my personal projects, but while I'm painting these, I'm also painting these. So this is all basically at one go. Um, I've got my Roman campsite, I've got my uh, Greek campsite, and then I've got my Germanic campsite. And so um, to go along with the three armies that I have on my shelves right there, I did get in my Marian Roman uh, miniatures. So I have uh, over 300 Legionnaires, which is what I'm going to need to do uh, my Marians. But I'm not going to do them all at once. I've decided I'm going to do just a Magna Army at first, and then... But I'll have enough figures that if I wanted to do a Magna, a Maximus army I can add to it plus the I got my elephants in for my Macedonians and uh, as you know I've got a bunch of Cromarty figures in uh, now those are Republican early Republican um, or I should say mid Republican Romans uh, not really Marian Romans but some of the <coughs> some of the uh, officers and standard bearers and musicians um, can be used. And so what I'm going to be doing is taking some of those Cromartis and throwing them into my Marians as well. Now, I do have a forged in battle pack coming in at some point, which is going to have my bolt throwers. And it also has two packs of Marian Romans as well. Uh, now these packs are 24 figures, which you need 28 for a full uh, Maximus uh, Legion, right? 28 figures. So uh, I can just grab four of my other figures and put them in with those forged in battles. Now I've considered, this is just me going off on a little tangent here, I've considered taking uh, my figures like my Blue Moon, my Old Glory, my forged in battle, and mixing them, mixing them up, but I found that, um, and my Cromartis, and, and mixing them in will just make won't make them look right. So I think I'm going to keep my blue moons together, 
uh, like the swordsman, I'm going to put them all in one unit and because it'll make the unit look cohesive and it won't look like so scattered, right? And so I'm going to keep all my old glories together, maybe with a few officers because those should look different. But um, the general legionaries, I think I'm going to stay by brand. Uh, I think. Okay, so that's the that's the um, some things I got in. Uh, product wise, I the only product I got in was uh, my personal belongings. So I posted, and I have this huge. Uh, amount of terrain that I have made in the past that was basically in a tub. And when I cleaned everything up, I found these trees and I found these hedges and walls and fences and roads. And I posted them on eBay and I put them on as auctions. So if you're interested in some of that stuff, you should check those out. Uh, a lot of them I've already sold. I've got a huge pile of packages that need to go out on my table with another huge amount that needs to go out tomorrow as well. Uh, so, so they're going fast because I marked them for I marked them to sell like really low price, like three giant trees for ten bucks or. Uh, the roads, I don't know, 99 cents or something like that, and some hedges for 99 cents. So yeah, it's it's definitely worth the worth the look. Um, now I also have this is kind of online with the store. I have a sale going on. It's a buy more, save more sale, but this this time it's on 28 millimeters. So anything in my store that's related to 28 millimeter is for sale. If you get two items, you get 5%. If you get three items, you get 15%. And if you get four items, you get, well, no, 10%. And if you get three items, you get, or four items, you get 15%. But either way, the more you get, the more the percentage off is. So uh, I don't think it applies to any auctions. That's only on my fixed price. So you should go check those out as well. Um, right, so uh, finished, nothing. New product, just a bunch of stuff that I put up on sale. Uh, third is um, supplies. Okay, so as you know, I got in some MDF boards and uh, I try and I and I also found my old coping saw but my old coping saw it, it only has one blade and I think it's a metal blade steel blade or something it's very and it's super old and dull so I decided to go ahead and use a jigsaw but my jigsaw is super old uh it's a black and decker i think but and it still works but uh you put the you put the the, the saw blade in and then you got to tighten up a screw a bolt to hold it in place and i noticed that um and i only have that one blade so i decided i know crazy i decided to get a second jigsaw I decided to get a, a newer jigsaw and I got, I don't know, you can't really see it. Okay, there you go. New jigsaw right there. It's Value Max. It's a 6.5 corded because I don't need anything cordless and I don't like batteries dying on me. So I got a corded jigsaw. Now this has a bunch of features that my old jigsaw doesn't have. This has a light. It has a laser level, right? It's got, um, it's got, this is a clear plastic 
gun shield basically this is a dust protector so when dust or dirt flies it doesn't go any doesn't get in your eyes or whatever and you can see through it because that's clear it's got uh, you can't see it here but there's a quick release it's this just a little lever to pull your blade and put your new blade in it's got a it's got a blade support right there and then this right here is how stiff your blade support is so because it, it it actually moves a little bit you've got a suction tube i think it's still in here this thing right here but uh you got this suction thing here that you can attach to your um shop vac or your or your vacuum and so when you're cutting it'll suck up all the the sawdust if you wanted to do that plus it has a speed dial you can't see it here it goes one to six so you can have your blade go slow or super fast or whatever uh, plus based on the trigger pull of course you can you can adjust the speed of your blade as well but that's basically just sets the maximum then you got your trigger lock so if you don't want to hold the trigger and you just want to lock it and go you can uh, it comes with a allen wrench right here which i thought was um i didn't realize that until i needed it when i needed it i noticed it and i was like oh look at that an allen wrench but this this bot base plate right here uh underneath right you can you can unscrew the uh the bolts and then you can tilt it up to 45 degrees to one side or the other so you can make a bevel without later going in and beveling the edges and i know i'm it's like i'm selling this thing right uh right here you've got this rod which it doesn't come with like a t-bar that you would put in there and then it would allow you to have like a perfectly straight edge uh which it didn't come with that but that's one reason why this was uh so inexpensive it was like 22 bucks or something like that 20 25 dollars something crazy good okay so i went ahead and this is something that i was working on i'm still currently working on it I just want to pull up half of them. Now in Meg, you know that uh, terrain is broken down into two categories. You have compulsory and optional. Compulsory items are allowed to be a lot larger, up to 10 base widths. But your, uh, when you're playing Magna, you go to two-thirds that size which is seven because you round up uh, and then the optionals are even smaller i think it's like four to six or something like that uh yeah i think it's four to six okay so so what i did was i took a bunch of my mdf and i uh, organized it into compulsory and uh, optional uh, pieces of terrain that i plan to make and i jotted down like what i'm what this piece of terrain is going to be on it and then i measured using my uh, measuring stick because of base widths and not inches and then uh, i drew on it and then i went through with the jigsaw and i cut it okay so uh, this one is going to be brush. Now, you'll notice it's more rectangular than rounded or whatever, but I did round the edges, and then later I went in with my shop knife and I uh, beveled the edges. I didn't use the 45-degree option on the jigsaw because uh, I wanted just straight cuts. So... Uh, plus, I was cutting through multiple boards at one time, so doing that wouldn't have helped. So, but then afterwards, I went through and methodically uh, took my hobby knife and chopped and gave myself a, uh, a beveled edge. Okay, so that's brush. And then there's crop, 
which crop is going to be tall crops like uh, <clears throat> like wheat fields or whatever and I'm going to be using a doormat uh, which I have a doormat and I've cut it down to fields for like my Hail Caesar and stuff like that but what I decided was I'm going to cut two by two base width squares and I'm going to put like six of them on here uh, if that's if that's how many would fit if only four fit on here or whatever that's fine as well uh, let me just yeah let's take a look so if I did two base widths that would be there and then two more base widths would be wait four eight twelve sixteen and one more okay so I can only do a total of five base widths so maybe I'll do two and a half and two and a half or maybe two two and one or something like that on here uh, and then on the other on the flip side I could do one two three four yeah so two base widths this way is no problem I would just have a little extra which is fine uh, actually I can just do four two by twos and there might be a little gap in between them or whatever that'll just mean uh, there's passageways but those are going to be loose and they're going to be sitting on top of these boards now I'm going to go over all this again in my Meg update but that's basically what I'm doing is crops now a field is like a plowed field uh, it doesn't have the tall crop uh, now the field might or might not have a border I think I'm going to put a border on every one of these but uh, doesn't necessarily represent a border now I also have some rounded ones I did a little, they're, they're still rectangular but I rounded them a little bit more uh, because I because they're not man-made or artificial this is going to be a hill a couple of them right and these are optional hills and then there's going to be a marsh and a lake now the lake is kind of a special but you can choose it and then woods now remember woods can be forest woods and forest are pretty much the same thing because it's just the number of trees that I'm going to put on there if I put a couple of trees on there it's woods and if I just pack it full of trees then it's a forest okay and then oh my gosh these are the heavy ones because those are only two mil thick and now these are three mil thick but they come as 12 by 12s right and so these are 12 by 12s which is too big because I needed to be only seven base widths so I had to cut like an inch off all the way around uh, or on the top and well two sides uh, this is going to be compulsory but this is going to be a field same thing plowed field it's either with border or without okay and then this is going to be my Germanic no no this is going to be my Roman town I'm going to make a Roman town on there this is going to be an orchard this is going to be a vineyard which is to me very similar to an orchard and then this is going to be the Germanic village because there's going to be more rustic you know buildings um, this is going to be a hill this is also going to be a hill and then I'm actually going to make a couple of mountains uh, I'm going to use my thick foam uh, yeah the thick foam is going to be used to make the mountains and the 
thin foam, the um, basically this is going to be blue foam. The pink foam is going to be for the hills. And then again, forest or woods, right? Because a forest is only a forest because of multiple trees. So I've cut those bases out. That was something that I am still working on. They're not finished, obviously. Um, and I'm working on this. Okay, let me see. News. Okay. All right, one thing is new, and that is in, from Victrix. We've got the late Roman unarmored cavalry is now out. So if you're interested in that, um, I can order that and get that in the store, and I might just do that. But right now, I don't have it in the store. Also, I do want to point out that I think I'm close to like 95% uh, on the mend. So uh, as you can see, I've already started painting. I'm doing videos on the regular now. Um, I think I'm. I think I'm definitely past it. Uh, we might be starting our Harn game back up. Maybe not this Wednesday, but maybe next Wednesday. I'll try to figure it out, and maybe I'll be able to jump back into my friend's RPG. Um, other news. Other news. All right, so that should do it for our store update. Thank you for coming out and checking it out. If you want to shop the store, there is the link right below where you can go check that out. That's my eBay store. Plus, don't forget, we have a sale on 28 millimeter items, which is the uh, buy more, save more sale. And then also, if you are interested in maybe me working on a commission for you drop me an email and we'll figure that out right now i'm in the middle of a couple of commissions it might take me a month or so to get everything done because i've got so many models up there ready to be painted these should be done this weekend and then i'll be able to start on the next uh, set of commissions all right guys thanks for coming out and checking this out and i will catch you next week